Hey guys, welcome back. Right, so for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at my Gibraltar coins. Um, over Christmas, I bought a bunch of new ones and I'm finally getting around to filming them. Uh, so I will show you the ones I had already and then show you the new additions. So yeah, I've got them all flipped at the moment. So this is where 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 we are, or where we were before um, my spending spree. So we've got a couple. Obviously, Christina got me this lovely uh, candy floss. <laughs> got that one from Grossy when he came round. We did some hunts, and a few others that people have sent me. So we'll have a look at them, and then I will yeah show you the new ones. So the first one is a five p. Five pence. Um, this from 2012, and it's got the Barbary Ape on it. I'm definitely going to put this in a new flip because look at that glue. Uh, there isn't any mintage figures for Gibraltar coins, um, as far as I'm aware. So, but yeah, very cute. We like the monkeys. And then the next one, well, the next two have got the same design, but one's an old one and one's a new one. So. we got this one. Obviously, I've shown these before, but it was a long time ago. And as I've said, I've added more to the collection. So, yeah. So, we've got an old one and a new one. This one's from 1988. And this one's from 1994. Very cool. I like having the bigger design and the smaller design. I don't know. It's just one of those things I find satisfying to look at <laughs> so obviously you've got it the 50 years of 50p the military one you get the big d-day not the big d-day i've got the big d-day and then you get the small d-day as well so yeah cool then you got this one which is also the 10p it's the euro port and that's from 97 hopefully you can see these all right my, ca my camera I've got my phone up higher, so I can't actually see the screen. <laughs> and then we've got another 10p. Oh, I just dropped one. I've got another two, actually, which is the Great Siege ones. Is our Great Siege. And one is 2013, and the other is 2006. Then we've got the last 10p from the ones I already had, and it's this one with the Barbary partridge on it. I think that's what it's called, I can't remember. That's 2014. And then we move on to 20p's. I've only got one. I did have a couple of these, but I've given them away to like friends and people that needed them. So it's the keys. Keys to Gibraltar keys or something from 2006. Again, some of these need to be reflipped because the glue is just everywhere. But I'm not too fussed about it. I'm not planning on selling them or anything, so. And obviously we have this beauty from Christina, which is the Candy Tuft 50p. Very scarce, this one. But I'm very grateful to have it. I just think it's beautiful. Obviously it's an old style one, 1988. So it's a large 50p. Stunning. And then we have the dolphins. So I found this in a coin hunt with Brosie when he came around a couple of years ago now. Must have been summer 2020. Yeah, because it's just after lockdown. So 2003. But I do really like this. I think it's pretty. I think this is quite a uh, crowd favourite, for obvious reasons. And uh, next up we have, what's this one? Battle of Trafalgar 50p. So that's what, 300 years? Seven, 1704 to 2004, Battle of Trafalgar, 50 pence. Yeah, 2004. 
I like this um, effigy of the Queen as well. I think that's cool. And then the one we see quite often, I think, which is Capture of Gibraltar, 50p. But this is 2008. I think this one's a few different years. And then the last 50p that I already had was this one, which is a little hint to uh, what I ordered. Um, as this is the only one from that set that I had. So we've got the Calpy House 50p. New Calpy House, your home from home. Is it Calpy, Calpe, Calp? But yeah, 2018. Very nice. And then the very last one that I have already. Another hint of what we've got coming up is the Island Games £2. I love these. I think they're so cool. They just look beautiful i love it i like the different tones that whatever this is i don't know what the hell they do it but yeah so we've got island games and they're from 2019 so yeah they're the ones i have already all right so i'm just going to move these out of the way and then we will jump into looking at the new ones so as i said i had a little shopping spree <laughs> on rock numismatic they're very good for supplying Gibraltarian coins and I got a bunch of ones that I needed so yeah these are the ones I've got so we've got the Calvi house set we've got the island game set and then we've got just some little random ones which we will take a look at first I'll move these for now so random ones I ordered we have one of the monkeys but it's got the candy tuft on it as well. I love this. I think it's so cute. Um, and I got this one from the year 1990. Because obviously it was the year I was born. And yeah. I just thought it was cute. The one I wanted. So we have that one. And then I got three of these. Candy tuft 20p's. Because I didn't have many. Well I literally have one 20p from Gibraltar. Uh, but I got 2014. 2015 and 2016 because why not so we've got three of those nice little date run and then i've got 250ps from 2021 so we've got the 95th birthday of the queen 95 glorious years i love this i think it's beautiful got flowers all over it i might i've got a macro lens so i might do a bit of close-up footage of this um, and then put it in somewhere look at that it's so pretty and there's a bit of cat hair in there <laughs> literally what is my life cat hair and fluff um, but yeah so Queen's birthday and then the last one I got is William and Kate's uh, 10th wedding anniversary. I just, again, think this is really pretty and I'll probably show it up close. I might do a bit of all of them, but I haven't decided yet. But yeah, another pretty design. Obviously, 2021. So they were me odds and sods that I got. Very happy with them, obviously. Um, but we're going to move them out of the way. and We're going to have a look at the other two sets that I got. So, Cappy House, we've got the one penny. Obviously, these are 2018. It's turned around in the flip, which is really annoying, but I'll figure it out. And I think the die mark in here is a, not a, BA. Not that I suppose it matters really, but. And then we got the 2P. I'll just do a quick overview of these. I don't need to show them all in detail because they're all exactly the same. And then we've got the 5P. Do you mind? We've got the 10P. And 
got 20p. No fluff on it. <laughs> Ugh, I'm an absolute disaster. And then obviously we've already got the 50p, so we move on to the pounds. They still use the old round pounds around there. So I suppose they're not really old. <laughs> and they've got different edges. They've got smooth and then, I don't know how well you can see that, smooth and then milled. But I like that, I think it looks really nice. It's a cool design for the pound coin. And then we've got the two pounds. To go in London, you're home from home. So yeah, very nice, very happy with those. These are the Calpe House ones. This is one set that I wanted to complete after having the 50p. Um, and then next I will show you the Island Games. And these are probably some of my favorite coins ever. I don't know why this one's so dirty. I, need to, I thought I'd wipe them all with a cloth before I put them in here, but I might have to do it again. Anyway, so yeah, these are from 2019. But I just love the jewel kind of color Thing. I don't know how to explain it, but on the copper ones, it looks so much nicer. So yeah, you've got the one P, and these are obviously 2019. And we got the two P, but look at that, it just looks so nice. You can obviously see it a lot better on the darker coins as well. Because if you look at this one, the five P, it's just, it's not quite as um, eye-catching as the others, in my opinion, anyway. But again, still very nice designs. I like him a lot. 10p. Twenty P. Don't you chew that. Cat's man. And this one I didn't buy. Grossy actually gave it to me because he had a spare one. So I've got the 50p as well. So yeah, it's just nice to have a complete set, you know. I hate having incomplete things. So you can never fully have every single territory coin because there's so many different um, die letters. I can't remember if it's the penny or the 2p, but one of them AF. This one, AE, AF or something. I don't know. But then this one is AA. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how it works. But anyway, hopefully you enjoy looking at this little updated collection of my Gibraltar coins. There are a couple of others I have. Um, I might have one here actually, hold on. Here it is. So a couple of weeks ago, I was down the arcade with Grossi and this was in one of the 2P machines that come out, Operation Torch, 2P from 2012 so that's another new one as well so yeah hopefully you enjoyed having a look at all me gibraltar coins i love my territory coins i just think they're nice and different and just something interesting to look at so yeah these are my gibraltar coins in a big messy pile so now i've got to sort them all back out but hopefully you enjoy taking a look at these and seeing all the new ones i've got um, oh, that was it. The Island Games. I couldn't find the pound coin on Rock Numismatics. But I've spoken to somebody that we know that lives in Gibraltar and he might be able to get me one. So that's almost complete. Very nearly complete. But it will be. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.